Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead and East Fork Christmas Tree Farms. Today, I want to talk about Christmas tree finances. Okay, what do you do with your money when it comes in? So, Barry and I are at a fortunate point, you know, when we first started the tree farm, like anybody else, when you're starting the farm, you're taking money out of your pocket to invest in the farm, and you don't sell trees for probably about seven, eight years, something like that. So you're always investing. But now that we're 22 years into this, we definitely have a cycle where we're uh, making more money than we're putting into the farm. So what do we do when the money comes in in December? And so I'm gonna talk about what I do. I'm not saying it's the right idea, but it's uh, hopefully it provokes a little thought with you. And then if you have suggestions, please uh, give us some ideas uh, on what we should or should not be doing. I, I love the communication back and forth. So first of all, we, when all the sales come in uh, and, and we're done in December, you know, we've paid off the people that helped us during harvest. Barry takes a chunk, I take a chunk, and that's our biggest pay paycheck for the two of us. We, we, that's our payday, our little Christmas bonus for finishing the season. Okay, but then we take a fairly significant amount and we put it in our Christmas tree account that's designated for Chris, uh, developing the Christmas tree farm. And, uh, you know, we, we always are very conservative, meaning we, we, we put in way more than we expect that we're going to need. And we do that for two reasons. One, we don't want to be pulling out of our pockets to have to do something on the farm. And two, we give ourselves a second paycheck, usually after shearing. So the major expenses, you know, could be planting in the spring, although I like fall planting the best. Herbicide, you need chemicals, you need fertilizer. And uh, as we're getting older and we have a little bit of money, we're hiring out more of the shearing. So there, the shearing is probably the biggest uh, investment cost that we have during the, during the rest of the year. So after we get past shearing, where we've done all you know the planting and the herbicide and the shearing, and most of our expenses are done, then we look at how much we have left. We still want to leave some in the bank for other expenses that may come up or improvements or things we want to buy right before harvest. So again, we're conservative, we leave it in there. But then usually Barry and I give ourselves a second paycheck after shearing, because that's the other hard, long part of the season where you're doing a ton of work. And so it's nice. So we get two paychecks, basically uh, end of December and mid-August are the two times that we pay ourselves. Um, but then there's other thoughts. What, what should you do with that money when it's sitting there? Should you do something with it? You know, and uh, 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 when I was, our pastor was talking about finances uh, recently, and the, the SWAG is an acronym they use. It's steward well, accumulate aggressively, and give generously. And I try to give generously to people around us. But, uh, you know, stewarding well, what does that mean? And, uh, you know, if you don't know what to do with it, maybe the safest and best thing to do is just leave the money in the bank. Um, but if, if you have a chance to invest it and help it grow or use it in other ways uh, before you need it on the tree farm, then that might be a good idea. I know that, I, you know, I was talking to a friend that worked for a company that made a lot of money and every night they took whatever they had in the balance and invested it overnight because it was a huge sum of money. And then in the morning, they took it all back out for the day's expenses. And then whenever they had, they had to invest every night. I, I was reading articles on cities that quite often do this. They don't do it during the night necessarily. But every Friday when they shut down, they take their finances and invest it through the weekend. And then make more money through the weekend and then bring it all back into their account so that they could use it the rest of the week. So do you want to invest it? Now, I have not done that for many years. But... Uh, one thing that I've been doing during COVID, I started studying cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And uh, the last cycle that was a few years ago, I did okay. But then I, I was really, I've been paying attention, I'm really well educated, and I knew what Bitcoin was going to do recently. You know, it just reached an all time high this last week. And I started because I knew that the ET, ET, Bitcoin ETF was coming, I knew the halving was coming, the four year cycle was coming and institutions were in, I was like, this is gonna go up. So on a personal level, I've been uh, investing since the middle of last summer, accumulating what I could, and it's done significantly good things for me in my personal finances. And I was talking to Barry, my business partner, about that, and I was like, you know, hey, what are you gonna do with your money on the Christmas tree sales? And I said, I'm taking all of it and I'm putting it into Bitcoin because I think the price is still gonna go up. And at the time, I think Bitcoin was in the high 30s, 40, and now it's 72,000. And he said, do you want to take some of the farm money? So we didn't want to, you know, be too aggressive and just in case something crazy happened, but I was pretty confident. So we took half of what 
uh, was supposed to be sitting in the tree farm money and we haven't used any of that till now it's March right now and uh, we've made thousands of dollars by investing our Christmas tree money so that we will have more money to use this coming year or to pay ourselves and it's nice to have more because we're expanding the farm this year uh, we're gonna need to put new gravel in uh, to create new roads so truckloads of gravel the shipping costs are super expensive your know, gravel itself hasn't got that much more expensive but you know the cost of fuel and paying drivers and whatnot uh, getting loads of gravel to create a new road so that we can expand a few more acres on our farm those are expensive but uh, you know the money that we made in Bitcoin and Solana uh, the last few months is probably going to pay for the roads itself and then uh, the rest of the money is still there so I, I would not suggest if you don't know what you're doing and you haven't uh, researched it, you know, don't aggressively invest too much because you need that money set aside to run your Christmas tree farm. But if you have, if you've been, talked to someone that knows finances or you, if there's an area that you happen to study uh, and you know that it's going to do well in the next few months or you could just put it in something that's a guaranteed, whether it's a CD or whatever, you're not going to get as much money. But you know you could do a six-month CD, and you're gonna you're gonna make some money. It's not gonna be a ton, but you'll have more than you had when you put it in there, and it's guaranteed money. So anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts on how you should handle your finances for your Christmas tree farm. We did well this year because I've been studying cryptocurrencies for five years, and again, I'm not saying you should do that, uh, but I, I knew this cycle was coming, and it's really benefited my family and my Christmas tree farm. Well. Uh, but then in future years, I don't know if I will go that route or if I might look into something else. But uh, there's no reason to have your money sitting in the bank doing nothing. Uh, at least make a little bit of money with it. Thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business. Teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon. Be blessed, everyone. And I hope your Christmas tree farm is really profitable for you.